हेलो चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर एंड केमिकल बॉन्डिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ एटम इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ आई मीन एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एन एटम मेनी साइंटिस्ट हैज गिवन दे आर पास्टुलेट्स टू एक्सप्लेन दैट हाउ एन एटम इज कंसिस्ट ऑफ इंटरनली वॉट आर द पार्टिकल्स प्रेजेंट इन साइड द एटम राइट सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द साइंटिस्ट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन so one of the famous con uh, scientist related to atomic structure is dalton dalton was an english physicist he proposed a, a theory related to atom known as dalton's atomic theory if we talk about uh, dalton's atomic theory it includes 5 uh, 6 postulates among them first one is atom are the smallest particle of matter the smallest as well as indivisible indivisible term means which cannot be further divided so john dalton told that an atom is a small particle which constitute a matter and uh, they are indivisibles which means atom cannot be further subdivided we all know the modern atomic theory according to modern atomic theory atom can be divided into sub particle it means the first postulate what i told you all uh, that is wrong means the first postulates of dalton is wrong atom can be divided dalton told atoms are indivisible means cannot be divided further but modern atomic theory states that atom can be divided into sub atomic particles right second postulate says atom are neither created nor destroyed atom can neither be created it means artificially atom cannot be create as well as cannot destroy it. this statement is also wrong this statement this postulates of dalton is wrong too because we all know atoms nowadays can be created as well as can be destroyed do you know how yes i will tell you many time in a previous class i told you all nuclear fission and nuclear fusion nuclear fusion lead towards the formation of new atom while nuclear fission lead toward the formation no sorry lead towards the breaking of an atom into two or more atoms let's see how it is if we talk nuclear fission and nuclear fusion the second postulates of dalton i told you all that my atom can neither be created nor destroyed but according to nuclear fission nuclear fission means a happy nuclei undergo fusion undergo fission not fusion undergo fission fission means breakdown so when a happy nuclei undergo breakdown it forms two small nuclei two small atom along with release of energy so you can see here suppose this is atom a it undergo breakdown to form atom b and c it means new atoms are created new atoms are created right so that postulates second postulate of dalton is wrong similarly if we talk about nuclear fusion means two small nuclei combine together to form a big you can say happy nuclei big or happy nuclei this process is called as fusion so here a and b a small atom fused together to form a big atom c so here again a new atom is created new atom is created 
So Dalton's second postulate is wrong. Right? Now come at third postulate of John Dalton. Third postulate. According to third postulate of John Dalton, atoms of the same elements are alike in every aspect and differ from atoms of all other elements. Right? So third statement or third postulates of Dalton states that atoms of same elements are alike in the property. Very common. Suppose you are taking gold element. Gold. You have taken a biscuit of 24 carat of gold. It is consists of million of uh, gold atom. So here biscuit is an element. If you will divide this uh, particular gold, uh, 24 carat gold biscuit into the uh, a smaller particle, it will have a similar property. Right? Similarly, if you talk about atoms of different elements, they will have a different property. You have taken gold as well as silver. Now you match the property of gold and silver. They both have a different property. Right? Now come at, means this particular postulate is right at all. Earlier two postulates, whatever he told was wrong. Right? So this is actually right at some extent. But when you will consider isotope, this particular statement will be wrong as well. This statement will be wrong as well because the atoms of same elements will have a different property as well. You can see hydrogen, isotopes 1H1, 1H2, 1S3, they have a different property though they are the part of similar element. So this statement is wrong too now. We proved that this statement is wrong too. Right? Now come at fourth postulate of John Dalton. According to four postulates, he told atom combined with other atoms in simple whole number ratio forming compound atoms or molecule. Okay, so atoms always combines in a whole number ratio to form molecule or combine. That is right. Okay, last statement, or you can say last postulate, that is the fifth one, is very right at all. An atom is the smallest unit of matter which takes part in a chemical reaction and all chemical changes result from the separation or combination of atoms. So you always remember, atoms always involve in a chemical reaction. This statement is very true. Okay, though if you talk about other statements, they were not satisfactory, almost they were wrong. But this fifth statement is very true because atoms always take part in a chemical reaction. So this is all about Dalton's atomic theory. Okay, so what Dalton told, Dalton told that atoms cannot be further divided. Atoms are indestructible. Atoms are indivisible, which is totally wrong, which is totally wrong. According to modern concept of atom, according to modern atomic theory, atoms can be further divided into subatomic particles like electron, proton, neutron, though we all know further proton can be also divided into quarks. Neutron can be further divided too. Electron can be further divided as well. Okay. So now we will discuss about Dalton's atomic theory and modern atomic theory. Means comparison between Dalton's theory and modern atomic theory. If we talk about Dalton's atomic theory, Dalton told atoms are indivisible and indestructible means cannot be divided, cannot be destroyed. While modern theory states that atoms are divisible and destructible, means atom can be divided, atom can be destroyed, right? While if we talk about now Dalton's atomic theory, an atom is the smallest indivisible particle of an element. While 
modern theory always states that atoms are divisible consisting of subatomic particles like as i told you all electron proton and neutrons atoms of the same elements are alike in all respect and differ from atoms of other element while if we talk about modern atomic theory as i have given you all the example of isotopes okay atoms of same elements have different property okay as i told you all 1h1 1h2 1s3 not only up to this many other isotopes as well this is the comparative study between uh, dalton's atomic theory and modern atomic theory right i hope no two people are preparing clear so now next topic will be discovery of electron discovery of electron means now we'll go towards how atom is consist of internal structure of an atom internal structure of an atom we will discuss now right so uh, we will skip uh, this particular uh, topic for tomorrow right so that's all for today thank you